What about this quickly issue of the Syrian, of the migrants? The president has said the U.S. will accept 10,000 uh, Syrian migrants. I think today as many as 11 state governors have come out and said they, don't, they won't accept uh, migrants in their own states. Where do you stand on that? So this is a tough issue because it goes to the core of who we've always been as a people, which is a nation that serves as a beacon of hope and inspiration to those that are fleeing oppression. The flip side of it is that we also have to provide for our own national security, and nothing can, oversee, can supersede that. My problem with the migrants is, in the migrant situation is not that we don't want to accept migrants. It's that I'm not sure we can. In fact, I'm increasingly convinced we can't, at least at this stage in the process, because you cannot accurately do a background check on even 10,000 people. It's not like you can pick up the phone and call the Syrian government and find out who somebody is. It's not as if the documents that people are bringing from abroad are reliable in terms of what they're saying. In fact, often they're easily forged. It is not easy to conduct a background check on someone that's coming from that part of the world. And here's the problem. You allow 10,000 people in, 9,999 of them are innocent people fleeing oppression, and one of them is a well-trained ISIS fighter. You've got a huge problem on your hands. And, and that's the problem that we have with this program. It's not that we don't want to do it, and, and it's not that we as a nation's heart doesn't break. But by the same token, what if we get one of them wrong, just one of them wrong? The consequences could be extraordinary. And that's why I think a better approach is to create these havens within the Middle East where some of these are ancient communities that have been present in the region for over 2,000 years, are being driven from their ancestral homelands. And it would be much better to leave them in their regions in safety than drive hundreds of thousands of people permanently away from a region of the world where they have links that go back millennia.